forefathers. Now we back, got me yelling out loud. Israelites, where you at? Where you at? We are the men with Israel united in Christ. And we at, we come out here every Sabbath day. And we teach the so-called blacks, the Hispanics, and the Native Americans their true nationality according to the Bible. We've been lied to. But the Bible has the truth. God has the truth. Give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1. We gotta come back to who we are. We lost. That's right. Why you think we in the condition we in? Why you think? Look, look at the news. Everything that's going on. You think that's a coincidence? Bring it on. Oh no, oh no. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. Uh-huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So this is the book of Deuteronomy. These are the words that Moses spoke to all of Israel. All right, you with me, brother? You with me? All right. Give me Deuteronomy 28. 28, verse 1. So Moses is speaking to the Israelites. All right, they're in the wilderness at this time. This is after Exodus. All right, read. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Uh-huh. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt not, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So we shall listen diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. To observe and to do all his commandments. Observe and to what? Observe and to do. Just talk about it. To do. Read. All his commandments. All his commandments. He didn't say some. He didn't say a few of them. All of them. Read. That's right. That's Which right. I command thee this day. Which I what? Which I command thee this day. Which read loved us this day. Which I command thee this day. He commanded us to follow these things. Read. That's right. Right. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Now look what Moses told the children of Israel. The Lord God was going to set the Israelites on high above all nations. All nations in the world. Alright? Now let's see if we didn't follow his law, statutes, and commandments. What was going to happen to us? Bring it on! Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Uh-huh. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. To observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses, all these what? All these curses. One more time. All these curses. Curses. Read. Shall come upon thee. Shall come upon the children of Israel. And overtake thee. And overtake thee. Yes, right. So Moses gave us two choices. Well, the Most High gave us two choices. He delivered it through Moses. He said, look, if y'all follow and do all these law, statutes, and commandments, I'm going to put you on high above all the nations of the earth. That's you right. Don't? I'm going to send some curses upon you. Give me verse 32. Bring it on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Uh-huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Our sons and our daughters shall be given unto another people. When did that happen? And to what nation of people? Bring it on. Come on, brother. Come on. Talk to me. All right, all right. You listen. All praises. All praises. He said, uh, that's one of the curses. We're reading the curses right now. One of the curses said, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Keep that in mind. Now Moses talks to the Israelites, all right? Read up. Okay. Give me, um. Verse 6. Uh-huh. Read up. Or over. He will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou was afraid of. All the diseases in Egypt, which thou was afraid of, read. And they shall cleave unto thee. Uh-huh. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law. Like cancer, we got um, STDs. That's not written in the book of this law. But he said, I'm going to send them all on you. Read. Them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Uh-huh. 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. He said, I'm going to scatter the Israelites among all people. Read. From the one end of the earth, even to the other. Uh -huh. And they shall serve other gods. Serve other gods. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Uh -huh. Even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. Verse 48. We still talking about these curses. Bring it on. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 48. This is where it get good, brother. Uh oh. You gotta tell me who this fit, man. Read. Bring it up. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemy. We're gonna serve our enemies. This is one of the curses. Right. The nation of Israel was gonna serve our enemies. Read. Bring which it up. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Which who? Which the Lord shall send against thee. Don't get it twisted. The Lord sent them against us. That's, That's right. right. In hunger. In hunger. Where do we get our food from? Our weight. Where we get
get our food from? Anybody got that answer? Where do we get our sister? Where do we get our food from? You don't know where we get our food from? Where it come from? I want to hear your I'm going over the curse. This is Moses speaking to the children of Israel. He said, of the Israelites that follow God's law, statutes, and commandments, he was going to send curses on them. That's and right. these are some of the curses. Read it back again from the top. So the sister. Bring it on. Chapter 28, verse 48. Uh huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So one of these curses, the children of Israel was going to serve their enemies. Right. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh huh. In hunger. In hunger. And in thirst. And in thirst. Where we get our water from? If you don't pay your water bill, what's going to happen? Are oh, you cut off? But we got to serve our enemies for right. that water. Read. And in nakedness. And in nakedness, where we get our clothes from? We making our own clothes? No, we pay. We serving our enemy to get them. Read. Right. And in want of all things. In want of all things. Let's dig a little deep into this, okay? In want of all things. Before you drive, you got to go get a driver's permit, right? right. You got to go get a license. Who you go to to go get that? Yeah, you're right. Your enemy. Okay? Another thing. When we die, we got to go to them. I'm talking about they profiting off of us our whole life. Yeah, because water's supposed to be free for us, right? Water and life is right. supposed to be, yeah. Natural yes. resources, right? When we, yeah. under, when we under these curses, though. These are curses. Give me, give me down. 68. Bring it on. One, chapter 28, verse 68. Uh huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now stop. He said the law was going to bring the children of Israel into Egypt again. If you know a little Bible history, the Israelites didn't go into Egypt again. That's the Exodus. Remember when Moses, he parted the Red Sea, you know, the Israelites went through. Okay, you know that part, all right? Now, it was in the wilderness at this time. He said, look, if y'all keep breaking God's law, statutes, and commandments, he's going to send us into Egypt again. Right. Precept upon precept. Let's find out what Egypt is to the Israelites. Bring it up. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Uh-huh. I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Oh, I remember that. He brought us out the land of Egypt, the Israelites. Read. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the what? The house of bondage. Vacation spot. The house of bondage. The house of bondage. Egypt is the house of bondage. That's right. right. We were slaves over there in Egypt. Right. That's right. Go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 60. Now let's get some understanding. Bring it out. That's all that's in Deuteronomy. Right here, 28 is the curses. Read. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He will bring us into what? Bondage again. Captivity again. Read. With ships. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. With ships. I'm going to ask you, who came over here into captivity on ships? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So who are the Israelites? We the Israelites. That's right. That's right. I ain't no goddamn African American. Right. Right. Look at this sign. These are Israelites according right. to the Bible. Judah, the American blacks, Benjamite, the Western Indians. Oh, they spread us all around. No, oh, no, we're not. You, so we black? If I ask you, what's your nationality? What would you tell me? African American. Well, African American. Let's get into that, okay? The one that's a hyphenated nationality. Right, right. African American. Let's deal with both of them. Africa. Brother, please explain where the word Africa comes from. Right on. Comes from an Italian conqueror named Scipio Africanus, who defeated Hannibal in the Second Punic Wars and took over the landmass known as Africa. That's, that's, that's right. one white man. So you African American. You deal with it, okay? That's one white man. America. Amerigo Vespucci. He's the one that so-called discovered this land, America. He named right. it America. Right. Right. So, so that's another white man. So you come from two white men? No. That's right. That's right. Bring it on! Where do you guys be? All praises, brother. Right here. Y'all be right, right here. Every Saturday. Every Saturday. Every Saturday. 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 Chapter four, verse one. Uh -huh. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Hear the word. Read. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, uh -huh. because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. You see that? Oh, we got no knowledge of God in this land. Right. right. We don't know nothing. We don't even know who we are. Right. African American, we can't you be there. Just told me something today. No, no, no. Let, now let's get oh, into this, all right? Now you, you know you're Israelite now. I know that. What thought the law required? No, no, no. The thing is, oh, once you get to that step, you know you're Israelite. What's next? Right. I don't know. What's next? We're gonna show you. We're gonna show you the word of God. Bring we're it up. What is required of an Israelite? Bring it up. Bring it up. 
Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Uh huh. And, the, and now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? So, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee, Bree? But to fear the Lord thy God. Uh huh. To walk in all his ways. Uh huh. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart right. and with all thy soul. Right. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes. But the thing right. is, is we only came over here on slave ships because we broke his law. Right. So how are we going to reverse it? I'm going to tell you what our people do. And I know you see it all over the news. We get together, we march. We we what we um we we wanna uh what the we got the Crips and the Bloods. Right. They right. say they had some kind of truce and they'll come together and right. fight the white police. Yeah. Give me Bring Romans it 10, man. 10 Bring it up. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you cause our people, and they got a lot of our people out here that we wanna know God. But we go to the pastors and they don't give us no information. Right. They ain't got no knowledge of God in this land. Romans chapter 10, verse 2. Uh-huh. For I bear them record. That they have a zeal of God. Oh yeah, they'll go to church every Sunday. They got right. the zeal of God. Oh, yeah, up. man, I got the Lord in me. I know God and stuff like that. Read. But not according to knowledge. But not according to knowledge. Right. Read. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness. So they didn't know. They didn't have no knowledge of God. That's they was it. ignorant of God's righteousness. Read. And right. going about to establish their own righteousness. Oh, you talking about that marching. That's how we get out of this. We're going to march. Let's fight the police. They established their own righteousness. Right. They put it in their mind like, you know what? We gonna do this and this gonna work. Why you think it didn't work with Martin Luther King? Right. Let's join hands with them. What did the Lord say that at? Please tell me what the Lord said. Join hands with the other nations so and make peace with them. No, he didn't say that. Martin Luther King said that. That's right. That's right. I didn't say that. Right. God didn't say none of that. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.